great honor to have you at Google. You are the person I'm most excited about hosting in many years. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we're very grateful to you for the, for the generosity of your time and your presence. Thank you. Um, so the topic of today, I, I know uh, at his level, people assign him topics, so he's come here not really knowing what to talk about. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. yes. The topic is uh, inner connection and meditation, yes. changing the world from the inside out. Wow. Yeah. Cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so before we talk about that, meditation and changing the world, I want to ask you a few uh, simple questions about yourself. Okay. So the, the audience will know you a little bit more. Okay. So the first question, it sounds like a, a kid's question. Yes. Yeah. But it's a good one, which is, how is it like to be the Kamapa? Okay. What's the best thing and the worst thing about being a Kamapa? <laughs> worst thing, worst thing. Okay. Better to use. Okay. Yeah. Translate. Oh. That's how they. They. You know, they. Catch me, right? How they sound all the time. Some do shine. That's. So first of all, I'd like to just say hello and welcome to everyone. だ、あら、で、かまぶいさまるとけ、まず、ファミリーさんのろけ、よまで、エクスペクテーション。あ、で、インドさんね、ルブルドだ、かまぶちゃれ。で、インドさん、かぶてどうさんね、かまぶち
Tadi gama bacaan ini mana aja susu gigi kasur eh self kasur ada aja responsibility di ni sambil ya susu gigi ngosian aja. Kokap cair pun jangan dosa dosa. Memang buat jadi gue ni susu lo kokap sih karya aja. Cita ni dia kokap di ni sambil minta orang lo ya. Tiga tu responsibility di orang es. Yang mana memang buat sih lihat ni kokap di ni. Yunggu lah mana sih? Tuh kau kau di mana bi insa? Kau tu lihat susu di deh dah kacau ada si susu mizin alor lihat ni susu cibu itu dah mai ba. Eh ni mak buat cerita dah dah nasi ni si kacau eh jambul ini china nuju di siapa? Di cair tu si susu mizin di eh alor le cang di cang cang cuy ya bu di ni mak buat cerita aku ya. Di dunia ini juga di hak orang kokar ucap ni apa dia yang sambil ada kamera baca apa dia good things sambil ada melu sambil. Nasam. I think one really good thing about being in the Karmapa is the opportunity that that has afforded me to recognize my own responsibilities. I think that obviously I believe everyone has great responsibilities. to everyone else and to the planet, but a lot of people don't have an opportunity to recognize how much responsibility they have. Uh, so I feel that the role of Karmapa has given me an opportunity to recognize the fact that I have a lot of responsibility to try to uh, benefit others as well as the entire environment, the, the world and all of its inhabitants as best I can and being in this position has helped me to recognize that. And I would say that's a good thing. That's a beautiful answer. Thank you. Yeah. So talk about responsibility, my friend. You are, you are a young man. You are 29 years old. So <laughs> what is the, what's the most important thing the Kamapa has to do for the next 29 years? Wow. <laughs> 29 years. Oh, I'm already 29 years. <laughs> <laughs> Pen dah Google tu sih bina, kuantum tu sih cecah dia orang kan, dia nasi jauh macam tu. Eh di ten year, five year, ten years tu je, misalnya kerja tu sih cecah, sebab ni misalnya tu tak build dia macam tu, kalau kalau dia cecah, kan dah sih cecah macam tu be, tu sih misalnya kita cecah, apa sah, dia tu sebab ni misalnya kemen tu sih. Asam, asam. Whereas Google is a very uh, organized company with great far-reaching and very specific plans for the future, and including the long-term future, like having a 25-year plan, a 10-year plan. Our oh, long-term is six months. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> but yes, more okay. than that, maybe sometime. <laughs> I'm not like that. I don't uh, build very specific plans for the long term. I feel like I'm building up to that uh, in a gradual way. So for now, I don't have any uh, specific plans uh, moment to moment some of that for that far out yeah mm. yeah mm. that's good yeah. okay yes yeah, it's, it's good because if you're moment to moment you're always doing the right thing yes then try to try to <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes you're very humble <laughs> so i'm gonna shift gear now to talk about practice uh, meditation and buddhism so the topic of our conversation is inner connection and meditation and what practical advice do you have for secular Americans, people in this room and people watching this. Mm -hmm. By the way, a million people will be yes. watching this. Yeah. So what advice do you have for the good people and on how they can develop their inner connection and their meditation? Well, inner connection, meditation. Mm. 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 <laughs> Aja tu tujuh ni sesi bade hajang kita kerja macam macam tu je. Cingwe be yagi show cuma dia dia. Kali ini tu yagi show kerja pun jua show cuma tu dia. Tujuh je minyak tu sana. Ani aja ki sempat ini ya. Cingwe be yagi tujuh overwhelm tu semua tu. Tadi ni bila saya kata aja tu ni minyak tu sana. Kadui ni aja la balance ya tu. Nang sempat kita sedih tang. Ani cingwe be yagi tu kan dia balance juga ba. Anjur cingwe bi kita ni, eh, yoga macam ni cili ya, 
and the overwhelmed, she so simply overwhelmed my chapa. That she jail ya and the kind of a meditation sadi. And then as a simile, a this chicatry. This a stable, as a simile, she did the stable charge down, Tana singi Ramatra, the digit chair to as a bezu chadi, a catching brutti, Tamatondi, you have the digit. Lesson. So the 21st century is a time of great development, um, great improvement on many fronts, and also great change. Uh, because of the very rapid developments that are happening, sometimes we feel overwhelmed by that. And the question becomes, how do we balance a sense of inner peace in our minds with this continuing external development and change? So meditation is something that can assist in that very much. Um, it can help us to stabilize our minds uh, bring peace to our minds and have more control over our minds so that we're not overwhelmed by this continuous change and development that's happening externally. Chingabulaya Rama Lube Nang Semita Shidis than Andrandu Yana happiness and Andrandu Tana satisfaction summary. The Chokshi and the Kandische Yon Tuyadi, Yasamblia and Dabaji meditation chair go about me you do so many something years. Many forms of our happiness these days actually depend upon outer things, external objects. But the nice thing about meditation, and what I think is one of the most important things that meditation does for us, is it helps us to connect with a happiness, a peace of mind, a sense of satisfaction that is not at all contingent upon external objects, but that comes from within ourselves. <laughs> Nazuliya resource, natural resource, somewhere. For example, a lot of meditation techniques uh, focus on immediate phenomena that are already present within ourselves. Of course, uh, working with the breath is a very common technique in meditation, and the breath is something that is always with us for as long as we're alive. And so uh, sometimes we don't recognize these precious natural resources that we have with us all the time. So from one perspective, meditation helps us pay attention and care to these natural resources that we have, which in turn helps us to relax. And from another perspective, it also helps us engender a natural sense of wonderment or awe or uh, joyfulness about what is precious within us already. meditation meditation Awareness, you are down. Mindfulness, you are down. Tarana singi, a cashway. 
ta jesu iran ro chikta khanda kadin gi so kadin je deng so ro chu a chi pena ga su ki natural environment gi ni a de ta na sing su su gi ka su ta subu samar ba pena su su subu ni a ta kharan khanda ji to le bi ni a ta je ji wa chi pe ji ingi re sam tang do su na sa so meditation isn't just about relaxing and helping us to de-stress. It's something that can increase our awareness, can help us develop more mindfulness, but not only that, can help us develop a deeper sense of joy and appreciation. What do we appreciate? We not only appreciate the natural environment that is around us, but we, through meditation, heighten our appreciation of our own bodies. Uh, and many other things. So <clears throat> at what point does kindness and compassion develop? So we, we just look at the wonder of, of the inner phenomenon. Yes. And outer. Does, then, does then kindness and compassion uh, arise naturally, or does it need extra work? OK. Um. Yes, that Chidangazugi Azuga, that Green well, firstly, I think that meditation is something that naturally connects us with who we are in an uncontrived way. So many things we do in our lives are uh, contrived attempts at becoming something else. But meditation brings us back to the natural state of who we are and what we're made out of. And I think that can become a stepping stone for developing further qualities. For example, I mentioned awareness earlier. Um, the awareness that we develop through meditation is an awareness that, of the reality that we all depend upon each other. Uh, for example, when we become more aware of our breath in meditation, then we naturally become more aware of the fact that our breath isn't just this autonomously existent thing. It depends on other phenomena in order to arise. We might develop an appreciation, for example, that the air we breathe comes to us from the plants, and so forth. And so in this way, meditation deepens our appreciation with the interdependent reality of things. We make a much stronger connection with that appreciation, and that becomes the springboard for compassion. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to ask about mindfulness, your opinion on mindfulness in the West. 
Okay. As you know, mindfulness has become very popular in the West, yes. especially in companies. Yes. Yeah, even here in Google, yeah. we have a program called Search Inside Yourself, mm -hmm. which is based on mindfulness. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, we are also doing things we are talking about, yes. which is shamatha, calming yes. the mind, yes. vipassana, okay. which is uh, insight, and, yes. and brahma vihara, yes. kindness and compassion. So I want to know your opinion of the mindfulness movement in the West and whether there's anything you think should be encouraged mm -hmm. and anything we should be careful about. Mm -hmm. Mindfulness. Can you talk a little bit about mindfulness? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> have <laughs> mindfulness. Yes. In Pali, I think it's sati. Sati. Yeah. Okay. Chida yeah. uh, mindfulness sati and the popular summer with the G. Same. Gabriel any Kashuda Chesis and Andrando Yana Mazulia be me you do see so horrors. Me you must have been a crown by Tangsana, Rawan Tangsha Vimina, and the Daji Dawian is the bonus in the same bonus is here. And did Dawme have a chair with Tangsana and could your mother's in words. Then you just done as a same take care chair down. The plants stress and a plants and a yana take care chair. That he Kashwe. So just to say a little bit about mindfulness itself, of course mindfulness is very uh, a well-known phenomenon these days and I think most of us have a basic understanding of what it means. But you could say from a traditional perspective or um, from a, a commonly presented perspective of what's in the Buddhist teachings, we can say that an essential meaning of mindfulness is that it teaches us how to take care of our mind or how to give our mind some guidance. So in the beginning, our mind has these traits which are quite similar to a small child. Um, small, child need, small children need some guidance and some boundaries. If they don't have any guidance or boundaries, then they can get into trouble. So mindfulness is a method to take good care of our mind uh, and give it some kind of uh, guidelines and in that way understand its true state more clearly. Hmm. I have so many questions for you, but I promise them I give them time to ask you questions. Okay. So I'm trying to cut down my question, my own okay. question. <laughs> okay. um, I'm in interested to know about uh, what you think about science. Science. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, we have a common friend, Richie yes. Jason. Yes. I, I know you're going to visit him. Yes, yes. Uh, he is a pioneer of, of the neuroscience of, of meditation. Yes. So, I'm interested to know, like, are you excited? Or are you concerned that, that meditation is becoming a field of scientific inquiry? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Tiri Dan Dana Singi the Kashur Kashuji religion and our spiritual Quran Drodan the Kagaraj Dewa. Lari and the Indusan T Yunzen then a Quran Drodan Kha Yinza Kuni Jigwa Yingo Resade Quran Yungu Aske Omar the result the Jiwa Yingu Aske says that in San Benaji Kashwe um Tiny Kandarian to the Tiri Tonezi Kasue Proof Charuji Kasueji Bena Nabesu and Rabsimin, Tiri Ton Nabesu, the Antari Proof Charu. Today the D. Kesimbo Iming Yahakumes. Taimen the two, the Karasana, and a neuroscience summer of Taji, Lebe Tiri Dizu, Savar Richard Yore. And the number of children are not only a number of children on the massive that children, ancient children, spiritual, mango, not only a 
Of course, science and spirituality have different ways of proceeding to their respective goals. And um, we don't need to have the same way of proceeding, and we don't need to merge these two disciplines or fields such that they then share the exact same goals or have the exact same methodologies or produce the exact same results. However, uh, I think that uh, they can be beneficial to each other. Now, I'm not sure whether it's important or not uh, in terms of um, the notion of science being able to prove the ideas of Buddhism, for example. I'm not really sure whether that, that's important or not, but what I would say is that not only Buddhism, but many ancient spiritual traditions have been spending all of this time throughout history uh, focusing on the inner world of the mind. And I think that that can be a good resource for further research that can be used by science. Um, in any case, both science and uh, the great spiritual traditions share the same goal of performing a good service for the world and making a better future for everyone. So I think there's a lot of harmonious opportunities that can be explored there. And I myself have been to the Mind and Life Conference a few times, uh, and I see a lot of potential. Yes. So I'm going to shift gears now to changing the world. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Specifically, how you are changing the world. <laughs> uh, you recently announced that you will establish full ordination for women in your lineage. To us, that's very exciting. Okay, can you tell us more about that? Wow. Well, <clears throat> um, daddy, that's right, Daddy. The small step, some of the small step. Sitang Azun Pergi Pergi woman and some linkage in Nambe Gigo Mamusi Nanolia. Energy the Pomelia full ordination somewhere. That is GD, the Ganger Chedi are it. And Cassiana Gangedi, the Caligalegis, Carjo Gangedi, Chon. Gangi だから中国語的民族別ね、で、ゲームチャリオール、サムタンギルミンジュスタン、ティトリア、ベジュルチゲベ。だ、サムベジュ、ソジュ、ニバカイム、ベジュチャルトス。だ、ティ、ティギカル
That Benaji Pumegi, Benang Jidian Narji Vimina, and Pumegi Benaji, President Cheshore, Damare, Tana Singi, Kashure Pume, Egi, and Benajitu Cheshore, Damarasa, Zabajorba, Tel Jiguangazu, and the Kandaji for ordination Sadi. That did a chipper of Kanda, high state. Well, right now I feel like I'm taking small steps or beginning to take small steps. In Tibet, as well as many other Buddhist countries throughout history, um, women have faced difficulty in achieving the status of full monastic ordination. Um, and uh, there are, are, are some areas where people have been striving to make improvements and change this, and in some other areas um, uh, the status quo is being allowed to remain up until now. But from the Tibetan perspective, it's been hundreds of years since women have been able to achieve uh, or receive full ordination, and I think that this is a very important situation to remedy. Uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, as well as many other Tibetan Buddhist leaders, have been putting efforts into this, and therefore I think it's very important because, of course, um, there are uh, many, many women practitioners of Buddhism who have great faith in the Dharma and should be uh, properly seated as leaders in their communities, and the status of full ordination is a very important um, position of leadership. And so I think it's worthy of effort from that perspective, and therefore I'm going to put as much um, effort in accordance with whatever abilities I have um, to make this, to help make this change, to help bring this change about. In general, these days, uh, we're observing a lot of um, uh, rapidly changing dynamics regarding women and leadership. We've observed various countries um, having uh, female heads of state, female leaders of government, uh, presidents, prime ministers, and so forth. and ongoing discussions in, in certain countries about whether that would be permissible and certain other countries about whether that would be possible and when it would happen and so forth. And I really see the status of full ordination as a similar level of uh, leadership for women to hold, and that's why I think it's important for society. You're very humble. You, you do a lot. Oh, thank you. You're very humble. That was, that's big, but to you, it was small. Okay. You know what would be pretty cool? For the 18 Kamapa to be a woman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you saw this here first. <laughs> yeah. The Kanish Lord, 900 years history, you have been in the thing here, Lansa, touch with the Kalahawa. Lansa. Daddy, meditation, greetings, and touchy animal, the Lansa Kalahawa. Well, since there's 900 years of history uh, behind me, I don't know if I can make an immediate change, of course. <laughs> I think I might have to meditate for a longer time in order to be able to do that. <laughs> So I think from a Buddhist perspective, if we look at the teachings of Buddhism, there's no problem at all in, in that, uh, in having the, the subsequent karmapa being a female. Uh, but from a societal perspective, I sometimes wonder uh, what kind of uh, difficulties there would, there would be. Yeah. yeah, that's very thoughtful. Um, let's see, I have two more questions before we open up. So there are three things I admire about you, I mean, yes. more than three, but there are three big ones. Uh, I admire your, your progressiveness, your open mind. Yes. I admire your, uh, your work towards uh, women's, women's rights. And the third thing I admire about you yours is environmentalism. Yes. You are known to be a very avid environmentalist. So the question here is, my friend, uh, so Your Holiness. Yes. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> what is your vision for the environment? Sometimes I call myself your loneliness. <laughs> okay. In front of camera, I must call you Your Holiness. Oh, yeah. That's right. It's okay. Um, the environmental issues, the global 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 issues, the 
Tiyatron işi evinin yer 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 de çeliğe de dediler. Üçüncü gün dürtü. Şimdi şiirin meyde bir şey de. Gece şiirin işlem meyde yenge bir şey de. Daha iyi bir de çoğu değil. Yani Himalaya rejimde tanesin pöy değil. Pöy ki karşı burada sato değil. Keçmiş daha iyi bir şey. Environment tonu keçmiş daha iyi bir şey. Pöy ne bir şey mi? Yani en azı eşeğe gidiyor. Çünce seyir bir şey de. Anda ada third ball saya ada, mungkin pun sih kadar di environment tuan tadi sang tu show cemburu mungkin pun sih kerja mungkin pun sih orang terdiri ada. Anda ini tuan ada pergi ni society sama nalar le ada sih cawat dan zaman di sini ada tenden sih kerja memang yang gurih sih ada dan nubas ada ada tu. Tenje ini show game cemburu sih ada yang ini tuan ada tambo terjun di sini. Angkosuji environment itu tali ya, si kosuji tambah hak wajib itu kerjanya pun ibadat itu terutama itu dia hak wajib ini na, dia dia pengen kerja macam ni, macam tu kompetang, kompet itu orang kau tu je lekat cerut tu cuma ni, dia ini tu sana, kalau kan sama tu si, sama dengan si ini yang tu yang mana ini, kalau kan sama tu si yang dia ada, dia ini tu sana dia kau tu ni, eh, kan dia Environment isu saya di kandar si donang ngasugi ni mas rezeki cawat dan cawe ye deh si ni mas rezeki cawat dan dia jual mata macam ni na entah kas si ni mas kasih si environment itu dia lekak kasih si deh si pengen jual mana tu ni tu sana livelihood itu mana macam living style living style dia change si ke orang deh rezeki dia change si apa siapa ni ada tambo Azu kuno sama ramai. Kuno sama juga ada kerja di Indonesia ni. Di Italia besar tu sekarang ada. Jadi, macam, dah nengam macam ni. Sapa nangsin yang tu mana? Sapa nangsin. Sapa nangsin. Sapa nang. Oh macam. Oh sorry. No no no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, your sorryness. Sorryness. So the environmental issue is, of course, a global issue. It's a huge issue for everyone on the planet and for the planet itself. And therefore, I see my activities in relation to this as very small, humble activities. Uh, but nevertheless, Tibet is a, very, is a little bit of a special place in terms of the environment. Um, particularly for Asia, it's known as a treasury of rivers because it's the source of so many Asian rivers. And it's no, known also as the third pole because of the um, important role that its glaciers and so on play. So uh, since Tibet is, set, is this very important place for the environment, I think it's good if uh, monks and nuns can begin some of the transformations that need to occur in terms of our living style. And monks and nuns have a special opportunity and ability to lead the people and lead the way in this regard. So therefore, um, I'm doing the best I can to help change some of our practices at our monasteries and uh, make the monks and nuns more aware of what needs to change with regard to the environment with the wish that that will slowly begin to extend outward. Um, so uh, things haven't uh, gone along perfectly as in, in, in the exact manner that I would have hoped, but we're making our best efforts and um, progressing uh, along slowly in this. Basically, with the environment, um, the important point for us to understand is that um, not changing anything about our lifestyle, yet doing a few things here and there for the environment is not really going to help. That's not going to be sufficient. Mm -hmm. What's required is the change in the way that we live, a change in our style of living. Uh, and in order to do that, we have to work on transforming our motivation. I have one more question for His Holiness before I open up to the floor. So if you want to, you can start lining up now at the mic. So uh, last question for your holiness. What can we, Google and the Silicon Valley do to help you? Wow. That day, Google, yeah, you want to think about it? I'm going to ask you, I'm overwhelmed with the chat. Last time? I think the car is going to be a car. I'm going to ask you, Aranji, nama dasar ni baru dulu ya, ye dia baru cerita. Karena cerita tu boleh, cerita tu agak lama betul. Tak ada tujuh. 
أنا قارشوا جي جوجل دي أنت كندا زبلين نالولي هذا كندا تا كمبني زمر بدل تجي شوكين شنبش تايو ده بيشتري ده يندو سانه كانزو قارشوا جو مي ده تاب دان دانا سينج كويو لاش سبب تيزو تاليا ده كمان بتشي بدل يا مي كانزو يا عزو يا تان this is my first time visiting Google today, so I'm already overwhelmed by its vastness. Um, and basically, I just want to say thank you to Google for having me as a guest here. Uh, Google, of course, is a very influential company, uh, and it's doing very positive, influential things in terms of uh, um, its practices in relation to society and relation to human well-being. And therefore, I'd like to offer these uh, words and sentiments of praise toward Google for that and thank them for that. But other than that, I don't have any special requests to make. Thank you. OK. Anything thank I can do for you, you tell me off stage. OK, privately, privately. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so we have some Dory questions. And so let's go alternate, uh, live question and Dory question. OK, yes, my friend, JD. Your Holiness, thank you for your presence. Thank you. On the topic of meditation, I have a couple questions. I'm a student of the six yogas of Naropa mm -hmm. and been learning about the practice of tumo meditation. Okay. Okay. And so I wondered if you could talk about the benefits of mm. tumo meditation and perhaps any advice for a Westerner wishing to practice tumo, inner fire? Wow. Uh, That's a hot question. It's <laughs> <laughs> a hot question. Tumo goliya jidang dingye mise dit ho liya tada kajure di nyamlein ke shay ho manas. Di hindustan di di goli shayat wada kana khamashna dos. And that di hindustan e da yin bine kandar kajure da di ji Tangi that the passion, some of the Sogum Chambu, go along, Tan, this you go at. That long the day in the chair, the Yoburzi, immediately, younger this year. Lassa, that the Indusan, Tangi, Tumus, that is way, Kandar, Tras, Chikarre, in a hot Chibo, my imba, that the Semlet, Semgi, she did the delayed Javay of Tone, Kandar, Karsuradaji, Semle Pentab, Tolia, Roto Chumina, then they. Firstly, uh, I haven't done any practice of Tumo for myself, so I can't uh, explain uh, in great detail about that practice. But what I would say in general is that um, there's different ways in Buddhism we approach uh, taming our mind or calming our mind. One is uh, in reliance on the, the prana, or the inner winds. And then one is by working with the mind itself. So working with the mind itself to tame our mind is the safe way to relate to our mind in the context of meditation. It takes a little bit more time. You need a little bit more patience in order to transform your mind that way. Uh, but if you stick with it, you can do it, and there's less danger. Uh, the six dharmas of Naropa, and in particular the practice of tumo, falls into the category of relying on the pranas, or inner winds, in order to transform the mind. And that's a more dangerous approach. You get to the desired result, it is said, in a faster way. Uh, but because you're going faster, it's also more dangerous at the same time. So greater caution needs to be applied when taking that approach. But if you have that proper caution, and if you regard that practice not just as being about inner heat or something like this, but as as a method for um, further enhancing and uh, 
uh, establishing uh, peace of mind and peace in our mind, then such practices can definitely be, be beneficial. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so this is a question that was sent uh, through the net, uh, through the, our internal okay. internet. Okay. Uh, when, when we, uh, this is asked by uh, Vipap. When we or our loved ones face suffering mm -hmm. from incur incurable diseases, disability, or death, how can we best ease the suffering and help with healing? Naturally, <laughs> natural systems circle ngazu sem desire somar beta deba de dinan drama chimbina ngazu the body de dinan maran ro chita to simi indistane ta de gandes accept chandi ta de imina ngazu tendenci de 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 kasue training somar beta training guardi catch me mera som tanga dus and indistane and in Yamata Warish in the country, Susu, Mizit, Nimachi data, Mizji in Badabuch, Tindiji, Kadre, Imagination Richetia, and the Jitone, and a training chair, and a condition, Kaligale, and as a SMD, and a used to it, Samaradazi, the native Chevimina, Kundi Tevimina, and then the Chikashre, Chichuas, Adia, and Azugi, Mizik, the process, Samar, the native Chimadabe. She was saying, Azulia, she got rid of that. I'm familiar somewhere with the demo in, but more she ever did. You want to make something to me to us. That's all. That's all. Imagination, so not a grand chicky race. So, in my daddy, in by the summer's town. That's all. Daddy, Chashan. That's all. So yes, we do have difficulty accepting uh, very difficult situations that befall us, including death. Uh, generally speaking, of course, death is a part of the natural cycle of things, even though we don't want to experience it. Uh, but by virtue of being born into this body, that means this body is going to die. Uh, so therefore, I think some type of training in the recognition of the inevitability of death is very important and can be very beneficial. Some type of training and uh, employment of our imagination to get used to this idea uh, of death and to regard our own human life as uh, simply a process that includes death. And that way, uh, we can come to see, if we become familiar with thinking in, in this way, we, we can come to see death not as an insult or an instance of becoming conquered, but as a natural part of the process that is our life. And to help us do this, we can use our imagination to regard one day as being like a whole lifetime. Okay. Yes. Your Holiness, thank you for your time today. In your opinion, what's the greatest threat to our planet and our human existence? Right, assess. Okay. The 
Well, there are many dangers uh, to the world and to beings on the planet that we could think of and identify. Of course, sometimes there's uh, terrible natural disasters that occur and so forth. But I think even more uh, severe than all of that is the desire, the, the um, harms that are inflicted on the planet through the selfishness of human beings. Uh, if we look at how many changes the planet has undergone since the time humans have been inhabiting it, it's a relatively short time span, uh, but we can see that there's been great changes that have been brought to the planet and have been caused to the planet by the conduct, conduct of humans. Uh, if this was just a natural cycle of change, I think it, things would be uh, changing at a much different rate. So therefore, I think, uh, generally speaking, that if we don't find a way to um, transform our desires as human beings or uh, put a limit on our desires, then that spells great danger for the planet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is another uh, Dory question. This one comes from Doug. Buddhism has been a presence in America for 150 years, and it's in the past decade has become widespread. So given that, uh, might we expect a homegrown super meditator, some sort of American middle rapper? <laughs> America, America, all busy. Yom, today yom super, today yom super guy. I'm not even there. Ngay di chonar rika yong desa na kajre di chongroji kajre. Material focus show to be a Tindigi Chesa Mission Daji Savage Union until Lamsanti Coronal of Jun Daji. Drain to Sane T. Gunsen Tene Tendenti Catre Great Meditator Yongadi Gaginchum moment of some another ton of Lassa that the Yongal did Catre Midi began this future members. Lassa Lassa. Time and <laughs> Well, I think such a thing is definitely possible. There's nothing impossible about it. On the other hand, my general feeling is that um, there are more um, uh, obstacles than there are favorable conditions for such a thing to arise at this point, because there's a lot of uh, uh, materialistic focus in general in our society and so forth. So there are, there are some obstacles. At the same time, uh, what can happen is that sometimes, no matter how strong the obstacles are, then the individual's uh, ability grows that much more uh, to counter those obstacles. So nothing is impossible in that regard. But another thing to note is that we may have great spiritual practitioners among us, but maybe they're not very well known or don't have a lot of fame. And at the same time, we have to acknowledge that 
uh, just because individuals are famous, that doesn't mean they're necessarily great in terms of their spiritual qualities. So um, I think that the identification of a great spiritual master needs to happen on a very personal level. And we might not be able to spot them in the same way we would spot a superhero. <laughs> Any of you in the audience who turns out to be a great meditator or superhero, please come talk to us after, after the talk <laughs> so we can identify you. <laughs> your Holiness, it's been a great pleasure for me to meet you in person. I watched your, uh, the documentary about your previous uh, incarnation and how they find your present incarnation, and I find it very fascinating. Yes. Um, my question uh, today is that, personally, I feel that there is a great loss of ancient wisdoms despite of the human advancement in recent years. It's become much harder for people to uh, pursue spiritually and have control over their lives. Um, to go into the mountain to meditate 10, 20 or more years to reach spiritual enlightenment. So I was wondering uh, what's your advice for people who find it hard to control their lives and do you personally find it harder to pursue um, spiritually uh, because of the tremendous amount of responsibilities and burdens that you, you have? spiritual <laughs> Kalau kau abadi kalau seni di environment, mana sebab ini ada cuek environment, ada cuek literasi juga. Tapi ini environment di mana ada politik dan si dirty politik dan dah nasi cinta sama lo involve cerita. Tadi kau suci kau suci dah, dah spiritual cerita di susu ni ni langsam nanda rujuk mana, di spiritual cerita di environment di kalau kau suci tuah. Andre ini juga nanti kunci dia ni manipulate sama ramai manipulate sama manipulate manipulate jadi tak anda sama ramai pernah sih ah senda bahasa ni kan tu di TV dia ni ni manipulate macam tu yang dia orang buat entah macam ni tapi ini juga nanti kunci dia ni kau suruh ni dalam jiu kat tengah itu sangat spiritual di tada tempoh cahaya ni sahaja Lasam. Tiada macam apa yang zaman environment le ya kebaca dia yang berlaku tuh tu. Lasam. Environment. Lau. Di kuliul dia ni. Yang kuliul kasih le ya rancingi spiritual kasih tanah apa show cah. Kasih le show show jauh dia. Lasam. Macam ni cik kasih le material tang tinjau kat mana develop kita main dia apa. Yang tinjau sahaja tinjau le ya a spiritual higher on the edge. That's all. Yeah, the material is the prism to be able to get the law channel. That's all. 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 Okay. That's all. Tertangi, tertang di nista tulah nista cipen mila, tene kalle di jomia ke? Kalle di jomia aku tahu sih. Tak anda create semula susu ini, kasih ada environment create jadi kasih bisa mana semula. Lasam. Susu ini environment nang sem dah sana tak ada sih jadi create jah. Benda ngah tu, kita wembas saya dulu ya, wembas saya, dah ngah tu wembas saya sih orang ba, wembas di, benda kampar cuci cuci, nalar le minyak ye begini ya, enam juta ngah tu cik sih tu sana, ini cik kasur di baru le ya, this, this yang private space, suci, di ni cik tuan susu le space yang ada, di ni susu agi sih sih ada, lasam, di ni sih space susu semua ada, kerja macam siapa, lasam, lasam, hmm. Well, to answer the, your, your later question first, I do find it difficult myself to practice spirituality in this modern age. Uh, from one perspective, you could say that I live in a spiritual environment because I'm a leader of a spiritual tradition, and so I, I have uh, certain elements of spirituality in my physical environment. But from another perspective, uh, because I'm a spiritual leader, these days you have to deal with all kinds of politics and uh, comings and goings and uh, 
relations that are sometimes unsavory and so forth. So what that leads me to realize is that there is a great deal that's contingent upon our own motivation. If we don't have a strong positive motivation from our own side, then it's very difficult to practice spirituality because the environment has a, such a strong manipulative effect on our mind. So sometimes when people are in a very peaceful environment where there's not a lot of uh, distraction or maybe not a lot of outer development in that particular area, it, they can practice spirituality well, but if they go to a place where everything is abundant and there are more distractions, then their spiritual practice starts to fade away. Uh, and I think that this is my own uh, shortcoming as well, that perhaps I have um, just as much as anyone else. And uh, therefore, I think it's very important for us to create a supportive environment for ourselves that, that matches our intention to practice spirituality. In the traditional Buddhist text, they talk about going to an isolated place to meditate, for example. Uh, in a modern context, when you're sharing an apartment or a house with another person, even if there's only two people inside the residence, you talk about how you're going to split up the space so you can have your own private area. So in the same way, I think it's very important for us to create physical space for ourselves so that we can do things such as meditate. Thank you very much. This next question is actually relevant to what you just said. Okay. It says, uh, what are the most effective meditation techniques that you have used? I use. Mm, about, yeah, oh, uh, mm, I miss it. Techniques get mm -hmm. mindus. Awesome. Uh, the culture permanent technique get mindu. The lubu lubu the chicken the chaza miss it. Shuas get mindu. Awesome. I don't have any special techniques that I rely on in a continuous way. Uh, all the time. Uh, meditation techniques are something that just kind of come and go for me. That's why. So what's the current technique that you have? Current technique. <laughs> <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> Dealing with difficult people? Yeah, yeah. Current technique. <laughs> wow. Well, forgot. <laughs> forgot. Forgot, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, uh, I don't have any special technique. Maybe just like the Khajre Kandish Chumbi Minya, the Labar the emotional which we mean emotional Chumbi Minya, emotional DJs, Madame Chitaranga, Khajreji, Khajre, relax Chediaji, Khajre, Tarang or Janj, relax, and Okay. So if you could call it a technique, I find that the main thing I do is when I notice that I'm feeling strong emotions, that I try to not follow after the emotionality of it, mm -hmm. but instead sustain a feeling of relaxation within that. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's good. That's Shamata. No. OK, uh, you have the last live question. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for visiting us, um, and hope you come back again. Uh, my question is, Silicon Valley is known for its innovation. It's considered. And we consider that innovation has a lot of similarities to meditation, deep focus, um, searching for answers. But at the same time, it also has a lot of material focus. Um, do you think there's a trade-off between innovation in the Western sense versus doing good for humanity through meditation? Innovation Mangbuchi, Kajuri, Susu, Sem D, Ned Nebe, Cups of the Sem Maji, 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 Cups of the S
Lasso. There definitely can be a lot of overlap between innovation and what you might call a wholesome intention or pure intention of uh, the path of spirituality. In fact, um, if we look at innovation, I think we can see that most of the uh, great brilliant ideas from the innovators of society occur to them when their minds are relaxed and open. And in the same way, uh, the best of our wholesome intentions and um, altruistic states of our heart occur when our minds are open and spacious. So I think these two, innovation and pure intention, are close cousins or relatives with each other. Um, when we appreciate our interconnectedness, we can further um, develop a natural altruism, which can be known by another name that we might call responsibility. Your Holiness, any last words for the audience? Any in closing? No, 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 no choice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank your you. attention, Thank kindness. You. Thank you.